Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. Happy Monday, guys. I'm here to do our daily energy read for today, March 9th, 2020. All right, guys, breaking the date down in numerology, it's a seven. It breaks to a 16, which breaks to a seven. Sevens are about your journey to your God self or your higher self. All morning long, I've been visited by a morning dove. Uh, morning doves have a very specific coo. Um, it sounds like an owl, but very different. Um, and morning doves are symbolic of deceased loved ones. Now, I've shared a little bit about my upbringing, um, about the man who was who raised me, um, had no children, the one that I call my father, okay? Then there is my biological father. Both have transitioned. Now, I am an only child to my mother and the man who raised me. However, my biological father has lots of children of which my brother, his birthday is today, transitioned as a young man. He was killed a few years back. So happy birthday, brother. Okay, so it's fitting that the morning dove was here today. Now, because I study augury, I learned quotes with each bird or the birds that frequented me while I was learning. And morning doves was was a bird that came every day. And so the quote for morning dove is, easy does it, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open to you. Not some, all of the doors will open to you. So when I go into morning dove symbolism, it's about life, hope, renewal, and peace. But you need to center yourself, okay? So you'll know exactly what to do or what not to do when the time is right. For now, you're asked to go with the flow. So a list of everything that morning dove, sim morning dove symbolize, ascension, communication, devotion, div divinity, gentleness, grace, holiness, hopefulness, love, maternal, messenger, mother, purification, peace, promise, prophecy, and sacrifice are all the things that the morning dove represents. But the quote for it is easy does it, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open to you. So our message is gonna be along those lines this morning. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for Fifth Element Tarot as a family, using me as the vessel. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so these are the two decks that jumped to me today, uh, both wrapped in purple all about downloaded otherworldly information. So we'll get an overall read on the energy from Sandara Fons, Reawakening the Soul, and then our reading from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. So one card, please, for an overall read on the energy for today. For Fifth Element Tarot as a collective, using me as the vessel only. For March 9th, 2020, what's the message? overall read on today's energy. Thank you. Meditation. Beautiful. So, needing to seek solitude, I just heard. So, meditation is the overall reading of the energy for today. All right. Getting our read from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. So, tell us what we need to know about meditation. What's the story for today? About needing to get to self-centeredness, to relinquish control, to allow flow. What's the story? Thank you. Three, I'll go ahead and jump us in. So first card comes out here, unknown. 
there's a mental conflict. So being in two minds about something, two of swords. So um, twos are about partnerships or alliances. The two of swords in the traditional deck is about a stalemate, a failure to communicate. Okay. So someone in two minds about something unknown. About what? The spiritual union. Another number two. Partnerships and alliances. So two, two, back to back. And there being hope in it. So cart number 18, excuse me, 17 reduces to an eight. All about movement and abundance. So movement and abundance in this spiritual union. But someone's in two minds about it. Hope is the star card in the traditional deck. That's about being on your path. Thank you. And as I say, on your path, we get another card. Thank you. One more, please, to complete our spread. Thank you. All right. So, oh, I got two more. So here we are. The base chakra. So the root chakra, first chakra, color is red, located at your tailbone or your coccyx. Um, the base of your spine. Ones are for new beginnings. The affirmation I mostly use for the base chakra is I am deeply rooted. I am sacred ground. So a need to firmly root. Unknown. Authority. Cart number four, which is the emperor in the traditional deck. Fours are about stability, home, family, foundations. Unknown. Patience and planning, card number seven. Sevens again are about, we don't have a seven. Oh, it was our date. Yeah, okay. So sevens are about um, the journey to your God self or your higher self. This is seven of pentacles energy. So it's taking a step back to see if what you're investing in will gain you the fruit. This is where the mental conflict comes in at. Unknown. And then a need to make movement choices and decisions with another two card. So third verification that this is about a partnership and or alliance. So this is our spread today. And it's pretty cut and dry. So this emperor is patiently planning to root this next phase in a spiritual union. We have someone in mental conflict two minds about something, but hope is here. Being on your path is here. It's all going to be revolve around how this emperor chooses to move, his choices, his decisions, movement choices and decisions of this emperor, but he's planning well. He's taking a step back to evaluate, okay? So this is where this meditation comes in because there is mental conflict here. So needing to resolve the mental conflict, let's start there to clarify. Going to um, Tarot of Dreams. Mental conflict. Tarot of Dreams is wrapped in orange. All about the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra, sacral chakra is all about creativity and passion. Pleasures. Why is mental conflict here for this emperor? Tell the story, please. Of mental conflict. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah, he's definitely in conflicted, okay? These cards went into my sage pile. So let's start here. Knocking this base or root chakra out of position. Unknown. Wanting to resume something. Also, this is like the Lazarus effect. Five of coins. What he's wanting to resume is going, this is being left out in the cold. So death in reverse is a resurrection, resuming something, bringing something from the dead. But five of coins is leave, being left out in the cold. So two starkly different energies. This is his mental conflict, wanting to resurrect something and leave something at the same time. It's clear. Unknown. 
hangman, same energy as meditation. So masculine going into hangman, taking himself away, taking a pause to go into solitude, to get clear thinking. Also unknown about what? Two of swords, mental conflict, mental conflict, same card, different deck. So yeah, he's conflicted, and it's obvious here. But there's a spiritual union here and a need to be on his path, all about his movement choices and decisions. It's a pretty straightforward read. 2020 is a karmic wash. If you are not where you are supposed to be, according to the spiritual, you will get there this year. So a lot of reorganization. Yep. And as I say that, yep, this is our reading. No need to clarify any further. So the stalemate needing to make a decision about it. It comes out as a challenge to two of wands. Yep. Hmm. So going back to my notes, you will know what to do or what not to do. When the time is right, for now, go with the flow. So that's the directives, okay? Needing to get clear thinking, solitude. Now let's take a look at the how the future looks because that I, this movement choices and decisions, when I touched it, I heard future. So let's see if we can get anything on it to see what the choice or movement choices and decisions of this emperor will be. Give us a, a brief look, please. Tell me about movement choices and decisions of this emperor. Thank you. All right, so three cards, movement choices and decisions. Injustice, hmm. still wanting to resurrect something, same card, seen it twice already, and come together in a reunion. This emperor is wanting a reunion, three of cups, but injustice is here, not being just. Let's go to Kipper and see if we can get the story on the injustice. Kipper. Wrapped in green. All about getting to the heart of a matter. Tell me about this injustice in this emperor's movement choices and decisions, please. I have a feeling that it has something to do with money. Now, where that came from, I don't know. What's this injustice? Thank you. A father figure. Mature man. Emperor is a father, a boss, a leader. He runs empires. As I say that, I get another card unknown. Yeah, it's a gift. It, I, I feel it strongly. It's some sort of legacy, some sort of inheritance that's being held from, from someone. This is so strange, but this is the energy that I get. Left by a mature man. And the injustice is that this gift is being hidden. That's why it's in the reverse. Thank you. I told you. Three of cups, sudden wealth. Yes, 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 yes. I learned not to question what I feel. Yes, yes, yes. There's someone hiding money. This emperor is on the trail to bring justice to this situation. He's patiently planning to resurrect this three of cups. This Three of Cups is directly related to someone's sudden wealth, okay? Someone's Ten of Pentacles, inheritance, legacy, long-standing foundational things that provide for you and future generations, and I'm done. <laughs> so here's the story. Falling over on this resurrection and a reunion with this sudden wealth as a challenge in the distant horizons. Gives a time period of two to six months, but that's a challenge I just heard too long. Then, central to the issue, a false person as a challenge. Interesting. Unknown. Privileged lady. 
There's a false person around this empress. Look how the cards are laid out. There's a false person between the empress and the emperor. False person. Let's see. One last pass. Anything else? This, yeah, this is definitely about inheritance. This is about this father figure getting to the bottom of an in injustice where a false person is in between an empress and himself. This false person is keeping a gift from this emperor that he intended for someone else. And this is injustice. He's working diligently to come to reunion, celebration with this sudden wealth to resurrect something in the distant horizons. But he wants to do it now. That's why the distant horizons card is as a challenge. That's our story. It is bizarre, but this is our story. Interesting. Movement, choices, and decisions. There is a false person in the mix. And this false person's presence creates injustice between this emperor and the privileged lady, which is the empress. So a divine pair. Yes, 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 people. Let's see what this emperor is patiently planning. I was not going to go any further, but now I want to know what the plan is. So let's see. I'm going to stick with Tarot of Dreams. Patience and planning. Why is it here? Tell the story. Again, it's the Seven of Pentacles energy. So, evaluating. Thank you. All right. What he's evaluating, unknown. Four of Swords. A rest. A pause. As a challenge, High Priestess Awareness. So, the High Priestess holds the, holds the secrets to this realm and others. Otherworldly knowledge. About Seven of Wands. About standing the ground. Patiently planning to pause. Because there is some otherworldly knowledge that causes a challenge. And a challenge of standing the ground. Anything else? Thank you. Yep. And a Six of Cups nostalgic relationship, childhood relationship, relationship from the past. But he's patiently planning. Last pass. Thank you. Another card as a challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so quite a few. And we'll break it all down. So, Next card out is a challenge. Ending to a cycle. Delay to an end of the cycle. Eight of coins in reverse though. So not walking away. I'm sorry. That's eight of cups. Eight of coins no longer working. So in the upright, this is mastering. Diligently working at. This is a ceasing to that work. With the Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins is a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, who's in reverse, by the way. Two cards central to the issue. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So coming out of a self-imposed mental prison, feeling like there's no way out, but the answer is in front of him. And Two of Wands, unable to make a choice. So he's unable to make a choice, but coming out of Eight of Wands. Okay. Trickery. Okay. So he has made a choice. Okay. And his choice is to no longer work with the Queen of Coins. That's his choice. Now, he's in two minds about it, but he's, this is where he's heavily headed. So I don't know where you fall in the scenario, but this is on, because something in this download, something in this, in this, um, 
this knowing that he has with the high priestess awareness tells him this is what he needs to do. Now, all of this falls out on the floor on feminine energy unknown. Six of coins, but it's in reverse. So there's no reciprocity, no equal give and take, no balance here. No faith. The Empress. Now, does this look like Empress energy to you? This is the second trickery that I feel. My body tells a lot. So people can manipulate energy, but there's no way to manipulate my body and my signs. So does this look like Empress energy to you? Empress in the upright. I almost say it, hell no. Okay, it's not. This is the Queen of Coins with trickery as the Empress. But there is a real empress, a privileged lady, where a false person is in the middle. Guess who the false person is? Yes, ma'am. In the middle of an empress and an emperor. Okay? And he's decided to cut her out. This is our story. This is what he's patiently planning to do. And it will show up in his movement choices and decisions. So no matter what part you, what role you play, you'll know what to do when the time up comes. Right now, you're in, you are supposed to be in the flow. So this is our message, beautiful people. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating the energy in this thread. Card of advice is coming from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, always wrapped in red about getting to the root of a matter. So two times the cards didn't want to come together. So again, the indication that this is about a partnership or and or alliance. We already have the two, two, two coding in the spread. So one card, please, for navigating the energy. Thank you. It is out, face down, unknown. The sweat lodge. We get this a lot as a family. So the sweat lodge is about going, seeking solitude, to sweat away all the things that no longer serve you is the easiest way to say it. I will read the book. 54 is the card. 54 breaks to a nine. Nines are about growth and expansion. Reading sweat lodge from the book. The essence, the sweat lodge represents the moon, excuse me, the womb of Mother Earth. Volcanic stones are heated in the fire outside, then brought into the lodge and placed in a shallow hole in the center. Participants in it sit in complete darkness around the red hot stones to sweat away old habits and beliefs and heal disease. When you return humbly to the womb of the mother, you're offered second chances. The invitation, this is a time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with the ancient earth wisdom. You can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle. Observe what emerges and without judging it, invite it to bring you its gifts. You're being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown. Do not worry that you will be consumed by the process. The medicine. Life is offering you a second chance. Take it, since this chance may not come your way again for a while. Mother Earth is calling you into her womb and inviting you to incubate as long as needed for a spiritual rebirth. Give yourself time to be with your darkness, your fears, your pain, and your seeds of beautiful potential until you come out the other side free, wise, and full of creativity. All right. Time to go into the sweat lodge about this situation with this emperor and whatever his movement choices and decisions are, you'll be ready and able to make the right choices and go in with the flow, okay? Needing to get self-centeredness in meditation. This is our message for today, beautiful people. I hope it is helpful. Guys, don't forget to go over to um, IG. I'm there seven days a week with the card of the day. Please go follow at Fifth Element Tarot 777. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading 
angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until tomorrow, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.